Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, I'm just going to throw out another bolo. This isn't a huge one. It's a, a secondary category, basically. Uh, it's alligator-related postcards. Um, we're going to step up a little closer here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. They're Langsdorf Alligator Border Postcards. They're fairly specific, but a lot of people don't know they're worth money. Every one I've gotten, I've sold for at least 25 or 30 bucks for every single one of these, even the common ones. There's a couple hundred of these, all from Florida, um, with various different cities. Same border, same everything, same company, Langsdorf. Um, there might be other ones that make it too, but you can kind of see the gist on the pricing here. There's about 500 that sold. Um, and it includes a few other items, obviously, here too. But this is just the basics on this. This is one that I'm able to find a dozen or so a year, maybe a few more than that, depending on how hard I'm looking. Usually at auctions and things along that line is where I find them. Let's look at a few closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Now let's see if they're all marked. Some won't say Langsdorf. Um, let me see. Yeah, this one should say it right there. Yeah, Langsdorf right there on the left. S. Langsdorf. That winged emblem on the bottom is actually um, part of the logo. So if I see that, I'm usually fairly safe. I don't always have to browse from the you know front of the card sometimes. If they're mixed match, sometimes you'll see the, the back while you're sorting. Don't spend the time. Just look through, see the makers and stuff like that sometimes on these two. But all of these sell. Some of these go for a couple hundred bucks. Um, a piece. I've sold a couple for like 125 I think was um, one of them, and the other one was like 140 Depends on the town, the city, um, and the actual image on it. Some of them are very common, and others are, you know, very pricey. Like you see here, 175 bucks. Now, the company made other postcards, but for the most part, the other ones aren't worth a lot of money. There are some seashell borders they do, and a few other borders like beach scenes and things that do go for some money too. But this label, the Langsdorf, I always look for. If I'm, I'm finding Florida ones, I always hope to find one of these. Florida-wise, you can find them uh, maybe not as much, obviously, as out-of-state because people went down there, bought these, or mailed them away. So there, there might actually be more outside of the state of Florida than in the state. It, it really depends. Everybody in the state would have probably seen them, so they might not have bought them for themselves and sent them out of the state. So Or tourists, of course. When these were sold, Florida was wide open, so, you know, alligators still roam the streets. When I lived in Florida, we lived in the beach area in Flagler um, Beach, and there was actually, you know, rattlesnakes still in the, in the um, brush and stuff like that, in, in the uh, palm brush and things. And you'd still see alligators just out there, you know, sitting there and sunning themselves when we walked out there, so we were always cautious, but... Alligators are a big thing um, collectible-wise back then because it was new to everybody. Travel was open. Florida wasn't huge, and travel was just starting. So alligator borders in, in specific here. Now, again, there's other types of borders that we sell that can still net you some value, but they all seem to go very well, these alligator ones. 175 Now, when you go down to the cheaper ones like Key West, the Lighthouse, this is a fairly common card. Even the common cards go for like 50 bucks depending on the condition, so... And they've shown it fairly well, so you can get the gist on condition. This one may be... No, I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Some of these are embossed and some are not. This one looks like it is embossed. So it's not a big difference in price either if they're embossed versus not embossed. And I've had this question before. Are the cards worth more um, un unsent, uncanceled, or not? It doesn't really matter. Now, some real rare cards or real picture postcards, sometimes people like to have a copy unsent or you know they might just collect postmarks too so sometimes the postmarks are worth money for the most part i don't worry about the stamps on them very rarely do i ever find a stamp that's worth some money because they're just common one cent two cent stamps but i have found cancellations boyd's expedition and things like that um the truman um doctrine and and things along that line um you know nuclear ones test ones peace ones on some of these expedition ones are good first flight so sometimes i do look for the cancellations on the back of these but it could show up on any specific postcard there's no rhyme or reason to what's going to be good on the back of the card sometimes it's who sent it could be somebody famous sometimes there's an autograph on it there was a Picasso that sold not too long ago, and I have a video on that as well, too. It sold for like $100,000 or something for a postcard signed by him with a little sketch on the back. So, you know, you never know what's going to show up. So I always think about that when I'm out looking for stuff. 
uh, just another one though this one's a fit not super common but it just shows um what you see even when i worked at disney there was alligators in there there was an attack not too long ago to not to belittle or anything uh, my heart goes out to the person who was bit uh, if i remember right it was a, a small child but there's alligators all over in florida we saw them you know if you walked off the side of a bridge you could see alligators we had them on disney property and People used to try and feed them even, believe it or not. So, you know, I, I've walked up really close to an alligator unintentionally out in the, the scrub brush before and, you know, stepped with an eight or so feet of it, sunning itself. It didn't move. It hissed and we backed up very slowly and, and moved on. But, you know, an eight foot gator in front of you is a pretty intimidating thing with nothing between you and it. So, you know, anyway, let me just show you a couple more. Again, it's not a huge area. But this is just a given. I don't care what the card is in this one. People ask all the time, well, is there something I should get every time I see it? This is it. This is one that I buy every time. Uh, if it even has a little bit of damage and it's 50 cents or a dollar, I'll still buy it. Even if it's missing a corner, because I'll still get 10 or 15 bucks for it, depending on which version, which city, which scene it is. And even damage, some of the high dollar ones will still get you 40 or 50 bucks. But, you know, it, it's not a huge category. Uh, specifically with postcards, but alligator stuff in general sells, but we're just literally looking at cards in general. So uh, it just gives you an idea on what's out there. So hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.